All right, guys, welcome back to more Watch Dogs Legion. First off, thank you guys for all the support. If you're enjoying these daily uploads, just destroy that like button. My my goal for this game is to have this one beat before starting Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, probably going to play a lot of other stuff in between now as well. Also playing Spider-Man coming up soon. I, I'm, I'm really excited. So, uh, you guys are amazing. Best audience ever. Let's get this. Oh, wait, I'm already outside. This How may be entertaining. I've intercepted an audio transmission from Nigel Cass. No, no more excuses. This is my city, and I will not have DedSec ruin my plans for it. Themis was poised to change London, the world, and this group of... And Hamish fucking Balaji? I want them all! They made you all look like fools! They walked calmly into the White Tower, and no one, not one of you, stopped them with all our vaunted security measures. So do any of you have anything to say? Nothing. Well, everyone, and I mean everyone in the organization, will be revetted immediately. Someone help them, that's certain, and we will root them out. This time, we will get them all. Well, that's about done it. Cass is gonna steam about this for a while. No more life score, no more Themis. You did it. Oi, come on, man. We couldn't have done it without you, and you know it. What do you say we keep this collaboration going on, yeah? Cass is still pulling the strings. Uh, not much of a joiner, fam. Considering how my days at Albion ended. But I'll be keeping watch on them and Cass. Maybe feed you lots of intel. And there's still the question of Zero Day. Remember them? Completely gutted DedSec 1.0. Cass had a hand in that purge, Bagley, and in the bombings. So we'll gladly accept any help you can give us, Hamish. Cheers. All right, mission complete in the belly of the beast. Now, I don't know if that took off him on the uh, character screen or what. Zero tolerance. Chapter completed. Shite. That was banging. Think I'm getting this dead sec thing. You wouldn't have been recruited if dead sec thought you'd be killed that easily. Right. You run in some cheeky beta program, Bagley. You'll get used to Bagley's mannerisms. I think you did quite well. In the last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi's down or something. Oh, is that relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke or you just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. All right, so we got two leads here. Uh, let's check it out. All right, so we got... So hold on. So this character is still technically on the thing. I'm going to guess that uh, he's not going away. Not until later on, maybe. I don't know. All right, crashing the auction. We got this one. We also have the whistleblower. Uh, let's go check out the coffee shop really quick, shall we? Just want to kind of go over there. Wherever that's at. It should be updated on the map, I would imagine. Oh, here we go. Spy games. The whistleblower. Might get a call, I'm guessing? This is strange. One of our servers is being pinged constantly from the Wi-Fi of a particular Star Roger coffee. And the reason I should care? Yes, I thought it was noise at first too, but then I decoded the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeating over and over. Go on. S. O. Wait for it. S. We need to dig into this. Send me the coordinates. What was that like? That was... That used to be, uh, save our ship or something like that? I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna drive there. It's not too far away. I'll take this taxi. I found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. I'm good on recruits, man. I'm. I think my team actually. Did that guy ever come back? Oh, he's back now. I'm gonna stick with this character. The MP5 silenced is so good. It's got. You also get improved stealth, and you get points per takedown. That is insane. But yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support. This has been a really good game. I don't know what's going to happen after this point forward. That 
drone mission we just did was insane. Had to be one of the best drone missions I've ever seen uh, in any game. The puzzle part of it, I was worried about the uh, the vents, that little area. <laughs> it was, it was kind of stressful, to be honest. And the laser thing just before that was also kind of nuts. I didn't know what to expect there either. But that drone, if I can get that drone, man. If I could just spawn one, that would be so nice. Hopefully I get to a point where I actually can do that. I didn't look at the tech points too much on there. Alright, let's check out the distress signal. I feel like this is going to branch into something huge. What now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP sending us the distress signal. Alright, we're going to wait it out. Let's go. Uh, miss? You a time traveler or something? Who calls on a flip phone? It's a crypto phone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the fuck is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on S-I-R-S, -S, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. All right, we'll listen, but no promises. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. I don't like this. Bags? Sabine? What are we into here? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face. For example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. All right, so we're supposed to meet the SIRS contact. Mm. This feels like it's about to be very, very awkward. Oi, does anyone want to play some Can I even get over there? Or do I need a drone or something? Oh, this is actually an opening right here. Never mind. Uh, restricted area? What? Yeah, meet me by the explosive barrels. I've got a problem. That SIRS guy isn't here, and there was a fight. What should we do? SIRS might be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. All right, I'll give it my best. All right, access the AR footage. Where is... Complete the network bypass, okay. We got a puzzle. Oh, it's one of these, hold on. Yo, it's stringing along the lights too? Oh my goodness, I need this drone. Makes it so much easier. Yeah, there's more puzzles in this game than the previous games. All right, so we're gonna start from the other side. We got that there. Mm. These all have to line up, so starts there. That goes there, we're gonna have to rotate. Yeah, this is, this is really awesome. And yeah, what is that thing behind? Oh, it's on the, the fence right there. Oh, we're good there. Let's see. It goes up. I think we're good. That was easy. Easy peasy. That's done it. Now return to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. I'm gonna guess captured. 
That's my assumption. Or chase. CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. That appears to be our contact. Captured. Or killed. Never mind. Fucking hell. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. Killed and then drove off. That would explain why this thing got knocked over and there's blood on the ground there. Okay. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. Uh, sure. Follow the AR vehicle. They all get in. Uh, I need to actually get in a vehicle myself to follow it. I'm gonna guess this is the right way to go. Uh, left. All right, we're good. I'm glad it tells you where to go, cause it's been a little, a little bit confusing. Oh wait, wait. Oh, no, no. Oh, my. You know. My bad. This car the drives really crazy. The nearly finished. And so's our contact if you don't hurry. Uh, left back there. You know, this thing's a little awkward to control, too. Oh my. It looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they were. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. Vehicle to another vehicle. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Albion? Shouldn't they be sirs? What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. Hmm. Uh... Hey, so let me analyze. There we go. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. Hilarious, Bagley. What else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Show me. <coughs> torture room, okay. I'm not what you think I am. This is <coughs> You're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat. That's, that's not me. I swear to God, please, please. Oh, fuck. This guy's got a head full of deep state secrets. We have to save him before he blabs. Bagley, give me a location. But yeah, I already got the location, I think. Uh, hold on. Let me get out of here first. All right, here we go. Here we go. This car handles so strange. Please move. Please. If I run over you, the cops come. I don't know. Are we so done with the uh, two of the storylines out of the four? I'm guessing the other one where the drone that we just did is gonna come back. That 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 didn't feel like it was 100% done. We didn't actually see the guy yet. Oh my. 
Oh my. Restricted area. Who would have thought? This guy is going to be a problem. I like that the uh, the SMG I currently have is a is a uh, a suppressed gun, and it actually works like that. Because some games you'll use it, and they'll still hear you. Uh, let's just drop the cargo. Explosive. I can't imagine probably that good to be able to do that. Uh, let's see. I'm there. But we gotta get all the way down here. I just realized I've been standing for like a long time now. You have like the lethal and the non-lethal stuff. I mean, I really don't think it matters because there's going to be one ending to this game, most likely. So I don't quite see the points. <laughs> we got to get this key code. Who has it? Who has it? Hmm. Uh, let's see. My assumption is it's going to be somebody that's not even near us that we have to actually go chase down. <gasps> they crossing paths? Nobody can hear that is amazing. Uh, oh. Yeah, the key is like it says it's right here, but that doesn't make any sense. I guess we have to download it from this side. Like I said, I thought it was gonna be somewhere nowhere near us and it was right next to us. How convenient. Oh, we're good. And we took everybody out. This person stuck in the door, too. That's funny. Easy. 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 I'm dead sick. You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. I just saved you, you knob. No, you've just damned us both. Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. Actually, how about you explain everything? My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. Fine. Bagley will check out the info. But I better not regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. I think I'm going to take a different route out of here. Uh, let me get this thing. I don't get to use these often. My favorite thing in the entire game are these drones half the time. Besides the story, I just love this. Right here. <laughs> to infinity. Hey, we all be out this, baby. Gone. Mass should come off right like when I get out. This is hardcore WikiLeaks shit. Let's check the intel right away. All right, one second. You know your onions, Bagley. Check his intel, then organize a briefing for us, will you? This game storyline is so good. 
The whistleblower. All right. Nice little investigative uh, unsolved mystery we got. Espionage 101. Look, I don't want to step on your idea, but I don't trust this guy. We should walk away. Don't know about that. He needs our help. May I present a third option? Just use him. An SIRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arseholes that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Not a bad idea. Hmm, fine. All right, let me go attend the team briefing really quick, and then after that, I'll probably stop the video. Been a really good game. I, I really like the storyline so far. Like, the overall villain storylines you get to kind of pick between. Oh, that's kind of freaky. Like the Weeping Angels for uh, Doctor Who, almost. Not quite the Weeping Angels, but the like the mannequin stuff. Always freaks me out. Uh, I haven't talked to her in a while. How are you doing? I hope you don't mind me getting situated in your safe house. Crime marches on, and so will I. There are still cases that need to be closed, if you'll help me. I've got this. Excellent. I uploaded a case to Bagley. He can brief you on it. Must be a side mission. Out of stock. I'm just gonna do this. Here we go. Uh, let's do... Kang Kelly's been sending a ton of crypto to an unknown... Here we go. <clears throat> I'm here. Are you ready to begin? Here's the gist. Malik's intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order, and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader... Right. Kill the Queen and the whole Zero Day hive dies. Why now, though? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet block depot. But it never left London. Which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. We need to get hold of the personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover-up. Then Malik and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the con to observe. All right, nice. I think I'll stop here for now. Thank you guys so much for all the support. So if Malik's right, oh, we got? Zero Day are some kind of shadowy cabal of spies who blew up half the city to secretly take control of the government. But now they're pissed off that someone's standing up to them, so they're going to do it again. That's awful. I agree. You'd think they'd come up with something besides another bombing. Bit of a double beat, isn't it? Is it true? Zero Day's trying again just because we stood up to them. That's taking negative reinforcements to the next level, isn't it? Cut that victim flaming shit. I'd rather get blown up a thousand times than lie down just so some wannabe tyrants can stamp on my face. All right, so I think I'll stop here for now. Thank you guys again. Uh, it's been an amazing game. I felt like hacking. Yeah, we're gonna. I guess we'll just stick with this storyline for now. After this, we'll obviously do the Kelly mission, which I don't know. I don't know how this one's gonna go. All right. I love you guys. Best audience ever. Take it easy, guys.